Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, you probably saw the first part where I made the railroad crossing sign. In this video, I'm going to go through making the saloon sign. If you haven't yet, make sure you go down, subscribe to the channel, follow along for all my projects, all my different signs, and my vehicle projects. All right, well, let's uh, try another one here. I'm going to do something a little bit different um, along the same vein as the first one, though. Kind of that super weathered look, but uh, a little more detail on this one. So I'm going to start out with some fire red. Actually, I think that's the wrong cap, but either way, fire red it is. By now, you guys know the drill. Something else you can do with this is exactly what I'm doing. You can char the wood a little bit and that just adds to it. Alright, time to start laying some paint on this one. Right, step one of this one done. Now, something I want to say before we get going too much further, I am going to do some more detail to this thing, but I know a lot of you might be thinking, well, I don't have the brushes, I don't have the paint like you do, I don't have all these things, so it's going to be hard for me to do something like this. Now, granted, from back here, that looks okay. This is what I want to show you. Working on these old boards. Look at all that bleed out. It is not perfect by any means. And that's the point, is that it looks like somebody painted it a hundred years ago. You can read it, and by the time it's done, it'll look good, because you're gonna beat it up, and nobody will know the difference. Somebody will think that you paid good money for that thing, when in reality, all it was was a free scrap of wood and maybe a few hours of your time. Anyway, I'm going to let this one sit out to dry and we'll move on. Alright, so this one's had some time to dry. We're going to come back and do a little more detail work on it. I'm going to do an outline in yellow first and foremost. And then uh, I'm going to come back with a little black as well. All right, there we go. Yellow's done. Let that dry up a little bit and then I'll move on to the black. Okay, got the black done, not much of it. Doesn't make a huge difference anyway um, because a lot of that's gonna get weathered out. I want this sign to look super weathered. So I, that's why I didn't care earlier when I had a lot of that bleeding on there and the yellows faded out quite a bit. A lot of that's gonna get taken out of there anyway by the time this thing's done. So I'm gonna let this thing set up, let that black dry, probably take it outside and set it in the sun for a while, and then I'll come back to this one. All right, so this one's set out in the sun for a while. It's pretty well dry. There's still a few spots that are tacky, but not a big deal. 
We're not going for perfection here. Actually, I'm gonna weather away most of it, so it's not really a big deal. Let's get started. You can see just after a few seconds of sanding, it really takes it down. Those high spots in the wood where the wood's actually worn fairly well uh, really takes, really makes that look nice. All right, starting to get somewhere. See, just a few seconds of sanding there, and it's really starting to look weathered. I'm gonna go through the normal steps I do on all these, get the hammer out, throw it on the sidewalk, rub it around, and we should be done with this one. All right, let's take it outside. Oops. There we go. If you guys made it this far, Make sure you go down, hit the like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel, follow along on any of my sign projects and all my other vehicle projects as well. Uh, I really appreciate it, it does mean a lot. So that'll do it for this video. I appreciate you watching and we'll catch you next time. Thanks.